Greetings, warriors! My name's Pretty, and we have Elwyn Flyer here again to react to a banner! Yay! Thank you so much for having me on again, Pretty. I am super excited for this. very curious what they're going to do with the Ascended Hero. Is it going to be an OC? Is it going to be a grill unit? Who knows? Yeah, exactly. It could be anyone at this point. After the surprise we had last time with Joshua, like, it's up in the air. Yeah. Just full-on chaos. <laughs> Absolutely. When we embrace the chaos, we love it. Heck yeah. And well, let's embrace more chaos and watch the banner. Alright, here we go. Alright! <sighs> New heroes join the battle! Who we getting? Ooh, it's a tome person! Okay. Hello! Worldly Mage! I don't know you, so it's from an old game. You need a mage. Hi, Night Blade! Oh! We, we did predict this! We mentioned it beforehand! Yeah! Oh my goodness! So, Hugh is a red tome infantry. I'm not sure how I like his art. <laughs> His jacket is very, like, lime green, and he has very purple hair, and it's just... He's it's a, a lot, lot to look color. at. <laughs> it's he a lot to look at. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot to look at. Hopefully he has good skills. Of course, like, another, like, red infantry tome, though. You got one. Oh, yeah. Oh, the name's Hugh. Oh, he, Ooh, deal. he wow. has a PRF tome. Ooh. That's so exciting. That yeah. ideal and arouse. Like, oh my ugh. goodness. He's got a lot. All right. So I will read this one and you can read the next one. So we got yeah, the plan. Cell Spell Tome. Okay. Uh, grant speed plus three. At the start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25%, grants bonus to attack speed defense res during combat based on the number of times unit has been enhanced using dragon flowers. Five oh or God, more times so grants plus that. seven. Four times grants six, three times grants five, and two or fewer grants four plus. At start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25%, and unit has been enhanced with dragon flowers three or more times, grants further bonuses to attack speed defense res during combat equal to bonus on each of the unit's stats. Calculates each stat bonus independently. Woo, that's a mouthful! <laughs> Yeah, this is very much the gimmick that Farina's Lance got, where you uh -huh. need to pay her dragon flowers for her to get the better stats, which I like to see on a tome, and it's nice that it's a red tome unit with a PRF weapon for once. Oh yeah, it is very nice. It is very nice. Just a little sad that these are going to only really be good when the units themselves are older. Because <laughs> like... Yeah, exactly. You need lots of dragon flowers to really maximize the potential. Yeah, for sure. So as well as his tome, he has Moonbow. He has he has speed defense ideal four. Um, at the start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than or it's equal, bleh, I can read. I promise. <laughs> equal to one hundred percent. Or if you, uh, bonus is active on unit, grant speed defense plus 7 to unit during combat. At start of combat, if unit's HP is equal to 100% and bonus is active on unit, grants an additional speed defense plus 2 to unit during combat. So he's going to be a tanky boy. Yeah, so clearly, and you look at, you know, a little further down too with the rouse including speed. So definitely fast, but also from this, you know, we'll up his defense to give him better tanking potential. Very nice. So he'll probably have, like, Rez as his lowest stat or something. Oh my god, yeah. They, they like occasionally doing the funny, and they're like, yeah, they use magic, but they have bad Rez. <laughs> yeah, they can't take a hit, but they'll hit. <laughs> Alright, let's see if it looks cool. I like how the tone looks itself. We won't mm -hmm. meet again. Nice! Yeah, yeah that's fun. I like the animation. Me too! Oh! Another mage! Are we getting like a similar idea with like last time we had a lot of daggers, this time we have a lot of mages? I'd be okay if they were kind of themed. <laughs> so we cool. got Nime? Nime? I'm 
don't want to pronounce the name wrong, so I'm going <laughs> to yeah. stay back with that. People in the comments will let us know how it's pronounced. Absolutely. So she's a colorless tome infantry. And I think she's like our first old lady. Yeah. Oh, for like, sure. Like, we had older men, but never like an older woman. Represent the grannies. <laughs> Yes! A granny emblem! Let's go! Heck yeah! Alright, let's see your skills I'd and like stuff. Learn about dragons. Or dragons. I like her voice. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> what, is, <laughs> what is that weapon name? <laughs> I, I mean, it's also too, it's the first colorless inheritable tome. <gasps> You're right! That's huge! So I, uh, as far as I can read it, I think it's him. Vitru. Eh. Vitr vulture. I can get the vulture. Button. Yeah. Says, if unit is not adjacent to an ally, inflicts penalty on foes attack and res during combat equals five plus any current penalty on each of those stats. So if the foe has minus seven penalty to attack, inflicts attack minus 12 for a net penalty of attack minus 19 during combat. And it calculates each stat penalty independently. Okay. That's a nice inheritable tome. Yeah. So yeah, that's, you know, most colorless tome units already have really good PRF tomes, but if you wanted to have something a little different and a little fun, then you could run this. Yeah, spice it up a little bit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, change up that build, make it less predictable. And then she also has Iceberg, Attack Res Solo 4, and Attack Res Menace, which is, those two skills are also on Fallen Mail Morden. That's the exact same kit, basically, except that's... he got a more premium kit. So oh. definitely, she's going to have high res. Yeah, for sure. I, I feel bad for her. She's probably going to be fodder. Because I'm looking at that attack res menace, and I'm just like, Yeah, that mm. menace skill is calling. Give it to me. <laughs> Hand over your menace skill, Granny. We're sorry. We We're sorry. We hate to put you down like this, Granny. <laughs> yeah, like a very cool addition, though. Oh, for sure. Nothing I can't handle. I like that Ooh. animation. Yeah, the animations are really nice. Alright, All right. our demote! I'm assuming. Oh, I, I have seen a lot of people As wanting her. Thief, I have She's very cute. <laughs> yeah, she is super cute. Okay, I... see, she works with that lime green color so much better than that first dude. Because yeah, it's not the like... and the ginger hair. Yes. And, like, there's more white than green and it balances so nicely. Yeah. Really and like I this art style, too. Kiyu. I don't recognize that artist's name. Me either. I wonder if they're new. Hmm. I think they must be. But another dagger demote. Okay, we, we take those good, yeah. you know, hopefully good, at least, dagger demotes, because then our other dagger <laughs> units can have the weapons, but... I know a yeah. lot of people wanted Kath in the game. Well, she's going to be an easy plus 10 project. Nice. Yeah, and so, especially on green. Oh, for sure. So she is a green dagger infantry. Sense Exciting. Of I would never keep nice. the gold I steal. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me just scoot back for a sec. <laughs> we, Her, we weapon. Her weapon's a mace. <laughs> hold up. <laughs> we'll just throw this mace at you. I love that. That's great. Okay. So for her kit, <laughs> that's not a dagger. It's a mace. It's a mace. Come on. Let's... Tiny, tiny girl with big weapon once again. <laughs> yes. Love that. So yes. she's got um, armor pin dagger, effective oh. against armored foes, disables unit and foes skills that change attack priority, and inflicts a uh, dagger seven. Hmm. That's a solid dagger. I mean, armor yeah. effectiveness is always handy. Very. But it's just... Hmm. I think uh, the other inheritable dagger was a lot more fun. Yeah, uh, Colm's banner. Yeah, Colm's, Colm's dagger on the last banner. There we go. And then yeah. even uh, Ren Renick's dagger also seemed good. So I'm wondering, this dagger must have an equivalent in the Grail shop. Mm, maybe. Or to like a seasonal unit and now they're making it available at any time. Probably. Somebody will let us know down below and we'll be informed. Oh, 
yeah, thanks, thanks to the people who know these are these uh, weapon effects. We appreciate you. Yes, we we appreciate you so much because it's so hard to remember everything that happens <laughs> in this game. <laughs> So she's got Reposition, Attack Res Bond 3, and Speed Res Link 3. So in terms of fodder, like, Attack Res Bond 3 is always nice, but like... Eh. I feel like we've seen Speed Res Link 3 before. I mean, we'll take any more Reposition fodder we can take. Like, oh, they, for sure. Someone with more Reposition. Attack Res Bond 3 is actually kind of interesting because it's a fairly premium skill still. Oh, units really? Have, yeah, so units off the top of my head. Uh, don't, yeah, there's probably other ones, but, like, it's on Brave Micaiah, because she has the Tier 4 version. It's mm-hmm. on Mythic Yoon, it's on New Year's Takumi, and it's on Adrift Camilla. Those oh. are not always the easiest units to get, so for this skill to end up in the Demote Pool is nice if you ever want to go into Attack Res Unity from a different unit. Well, that is very good. No, no, no. Fun facts I know about Attack Res Bond 3 because I don't <laughs> yeah. address Camilla. I'm just like, I have no recollection on like who has what. <laughs> That's okay. There's a lot of skills. <laughs> All right. Ascendant Hero. Who's it gonna be? I have no idea. <gasps> well, well. Is that well. a Dune? She it looks so pretty! Is. She looks really pretty! I love her brain! She's a pastel queen! (laughs) Yeah, she just like strolling up looking like the queen of spring here. Heck yeah! Oh oh my gosh, this art is stunning. Yeah, it is. It's also nice, she's she's still armored, but she's a blue dragon this time. Ooh, giving some variety. Yeah, your dune emblems are going to be a little more variety to base now. Gosh, I'm just I'm I'm just fascinated by this art. It is so pretty. Yeah, the the name I do recognize. I would have to double check who did that though. It's so pretty. <laughs> I'm just like, a, mesmerized. Hello, dudes. Probably <laughs> the best art on the banner. Oh, for sure. And Not like the, the other art's good, but <sighs> everything about it works so nice. Yeah. All right. Let's see how insane she is. Inside of me. Yeah, because you know she's gonna be busted. Oh, she's got a safe skill. Oh, of course. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oof, yeah, that's clearly, a... clearly the premium unit being Obvious. the ascended hero. <laughs> All right, uh, well, well, go ahead. Thank you. So we have the Dew Dragonstone that accelerates special trigger and then effective against armor foes. Neutralizes effective against armor bonuses. So you can't hit her with like an armor slayer. Uh, and then if unit is within three spaces of an ally, inflicts attack speed, defense, or has minus five on foe during combat, neutralizes penalties on unit during combat, and foe cannot make a follow-up attack. And then the usual for dragons, if foe's range equals two, calculates damage using the lower of foe's defense or res. That's a solid weapon. Holy moly. Yeah, that is a beefy weapon. I love it. (laughs) She usually does have effective against armor, in her weapon, so it's nice they kept that. But the fact that she herself now can just, you know, run about and not get hit by armor slayers or, like, the hammers is really incredible. Yeah, for sure. And she's blue, so, like, falchion yeah. users aren't going to be able to do much to her. No. Like, that, it'll be trickier. Maybe you can pull it off, but it won't be as easy as when you were going against a red Edune or a green a- dragon. Yeah. She's a uh, colorless, I'm pretty sure, in her spring one. No, is she col- No, is she col- She's colorless or red in the spring one? She's colorless. Yeah, I think. I, I think. I use mine. I'd have to double check. Oh boy. Yeah, I use mine too, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure she's colorless. If she's not colorless, I have a problem. <laughs> she's very good, regardless. But this, oh, for so sure. this one, so this one also comes with bonfire, uh, sturdy stance three. And then Wily Fighter 3, so another new fighter skill, but not on a seasonal unit, which is nice. So it reads, if unit's HP is greater than or equal to 25% and foe initiates combat, neutralizes bonuses from skills like Fortify, Rally, etc. on foe during combat, and unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. That is nice. That's, that's really good. That's, that I, is... I want that skill. Yeah, I, 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 I want, I want a dune. 
<laughs> well, I want a dune for a dune, but I also want a dune skills, and then she also has defense res near save three, which up until this point, I think you could only get from Valentine's Gustav. Well, that's nice. I, I feel like yeah, people won't oh fodder her as much as they fought. Right, well, okay, she will be foddered, obviously, but I feel like oh, she, yeah, that new that new fighter skill is only going to be on her for a bit. Oh, for so sure. She is definitely going to be both like people will want to use her and then also fodder her for oh, sure. Yeah. She looks so good. <laughs> that art's so nice. I know. Ugh, it's just too pretty. Oh, she has a little flower crown in her dragon form. I, I love when they do that with the dragon. Like, with, like, Me like, too. It's the just hat. so cute. Oh, so pretty. Whoa. So pretty. And yeah, we got some new story stuff coming. So yeah, I mean... An is is she going to be the free unit? Is Letizia going to be the free unit? I think I think Letizia is eventually she's a boss here, but she's for sure going to be like a mythic down the line. Okay, because like usually on they show like who the uh, GHB is. That's true. Yeah, and the GHB wasn't there. Interesting. You got one. I don't know who the GHB is going to be because I haven't played. Yeah. Fire Emblem Six. Well, it's probably on uh, in-game notifications. So let me check that real quick. Yeah. And then this is just all Fae Pass stuff in the Yeah. This is, and you get the floret. You can spark and the, you can do all that jazz. All right. This is check. the usual stuff. Let me check the in-game notifications. I'll figure out who the GHB is because they've been doing pretty good with GHB units. Yeah. All right, if it'll load. Let's see. Okay, next Grand Hero Battle features Gonzalez, the kindly bandit. So I'm oh, guessing- Oh, Gonzalez got in the game, wow. I'm definitely like, guessing a dagger. <laughs> he, no, he's, he is, he wields an ax. And oh. I'm surprised he's like the GHB unit and he's like, he doesn't look like your stereotypical Fire Emblem character. Oh, all. I'm excited. And I know he has a support chain with Lolina, and you know they—they're friends in a sense. Yeah. Okay, that's a—that's a win. I know. I think he was maybe the most wanted Fire Emblem Six character. Well, now he's in the game. Now he's easy to build. <laughs> Heck yeah. yeah! It'll be interesting to see his kit because I'm sure we'll get—we'll get that data mine tomorrow. So oh, yeah. we'll, we'll see that. So, what do you think about the banner? <laughs> I mean, I think Dune is obviously, once again, it's the same with Ascended Joshua. They're, the Ascended unit is the winner, mm -hmm. but there's all around some interesting skills. We got our first ever colorless demo, not demo, but like inheritable tome. Mm -hmm. We also have another dagger demo that has- Who has a freaking mace. <laughs> yeah, we have a mace. And just like that artwork for Ascended of Dune is just like, next level good it's just it's so, so good i like look at even the flames like yeah I just oh she's so i'm excited to see all four pieces of art for yes her. And i i want her just for her art i mean like obviously yeah. she's like a fantastic unit yeah, yeah i but the for art me, man <laughs> for myself personally i'm of course or poor right now yes but Free summons will likely be on blue, and then if not on blue, I'd probably, I'd honestly maybe go for a cath on green, mm -hmm. just because she she's cute. I love her art as well, and I can always use more dagger units. Understandable. I think I have the same plan as you: use my free stuff on blue, and then probably actually use green or uh, colorless instead of green, because yeah, gotta no, rep that old granny. Heck yeah. yeah. <laughs> Granny, we love you to bits. Like, and it's nice to get more colorless heroes in the regular summoning pool because there's only so many. Oh, for sure. It's nice to see. Oh, Wait, oh, isn't she? Yeah. Is she our first, like, regular pool colorless mage? Uh, that would be Brave Mary, yeah. <gasps> That's right. Well, you like a brave unit, so it's you almost never think of them as... Yeah regular pool because they're this sort of special character but she's kind of she's like the first to come in that... after brave marianne so now we have two uh, so now we have two. yeah and looking back at like her art as well like just 
really good art on her too, which is awesome. Yeah, this is gonna be a good banner, I think, for Binding Blade fans. Yeah, like, I'm super happy for the Binding Blade fans. I'm sure most of the community is happy it wasn't a Three Houses banner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we went that, and yeah, I'm excited to see Gonzalez's kit as well, because like I said, they've been doing a really good job with, like, Grand Hero Battle units recently and Demote units. So it'll be interesting to see what his kit ends up being. But overall, like, I'm not parking on this banner. I can't afford it right now. So. Understandable. Oh, I want yeah, to do, but, but I won't go too hard on her in this yeah, banner. Because I, you know. We, we can restrain each other. It's like, no, you'll yes. she's in the regular pool. <laughs> well, are you going to restrain yourself, people in the comments? Are you going to summon on this banner or are you going to wait? Uh, let me know your thoughts on uh, all of the units. Who's your favorite? Is Idun's art like the best art ever? Because <laughs> we think you know. it is. We do. Just let us know down below. Um, anything you want to say before we close off this video? Just a thank you again for having me on, oh, Pretty. These are so much fun to do. And I'm excited to try my luck for free summoning a dude, but. Maybe a free summon, I'll even get like a Dimitri or something on food. Hopefully, That's always a nice backup. Hopefully both of our free summons are very, very lucky. <laughs> Absolutely. And good luck to everyone else summoning too, yes. of course. Best of luck to everyone. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Keep fighting your battles and I will see you next time. Ta-da! Bye!